friends welcome to abhivyakti india's future classroom the channel that creates educational videos to serve the students community we say get in to learn and go out to serve to serve the family to serve the nation to serve the world and to serve the humanity now let us start with the new episode friends welcome to bank exam cafe in today's episode we will learn how to divide a large number by a large number before starting the episode i request you to subscribe the channel so that you will get the notifications of new uploaded videos so that you will not miss any video also i request you to like the video if you liked it and share it with your friends and i also request you to write in comments box if you have liked it why you have liked it and even if you do not like it why you did not like it please share your comments through comment box because your comments are assets to us that boost our energy and we come up with the new videos so we will start with the episode now and see how to divide a large number by a large number first take the number 478 divided by 68 now here we do not know the multiplication table of 68 and so we find it difficult to divide by 68 here is a very simple trick you can use and divide 478 by 68 in few seconds only first i make this denominator as a round figure so 68 i round it to the 70 so to round it to the 70 i will have to add 2 to the denominator but here we have changed the denominator and since we have increased the denominator by 2 we will have to increase the numerator also in the same proportion so to find that proportion what we will have to do we will have to round this numerator so it will be 500 divided by this is 68 plus 2 that is 70 so this zero will get cancel and this zero will get cancel and you will get 77s are 49 point something correct so 7 will be the the number in that proportion you will have to increase the numerator here the denominator is increased by 2 so you will increase it 2 multiplied by 7 because here we have got 7.1 something we will just take 7 and now this number will become 478 plus 14 this will be the numerator and the denominator will be 68 plus 2 that is 70 so 478 plus 14 that will be 492 divided by 70 and now here you can divide 492 by 7 and then put a decimal point after one digit because this number is 70 so this you can divide as 492 by 7 into 10 means divide by 7 so if you divide this number by 70 you will get it as 7.028 so if you divide 492 by 70 you get 7.028 and now we will divide that 478 by 68 478 by 68 if you use a calculator you will get the answer as 7.029 so if you divide 478 by 68 and calculate it using calculator you will get it 7.029 and we got it approximately at 7.028 which is very very closely same numbers and therefore we can quickly find this so there is no need to do this 
step there is no need to write this step also here directly you get 492 by 70 so divide by 7 and put a decimal point after one digit so here you get the answer at 7.028 is it not so simple yes it is simple because here just you have to do some addition and the simple division only let us see the another example here the another example is 912 divided by 482 to make this denominator rounded off here i will have to add 18 correct so this number will become 500 and this 912 numerator 2 i will have to increase in the same proportion so here the round figure of 912 is 900 and the round figure of 482 is 500 so this two zeros will get cancel 51s are 5 correct uh, sorry 51s are 5 point 4 will be there So 40, so 5 is a 40, so it will be 1.8, and if it is rounded, it will be approximately equal to 2. So here you will have to add this 18 multiplied by this number as 2. So this will be 912 plus 18 to the 36 upon this will be 500. So 912 plus 36. So this 912 plus 36 that will be 948 divided by 50. Now to divide by 50 to this number is easier because we just divide by 5. 948 divided by 5 and put a decimal point after one digit. So if you divide 948 by 50, we get the answer 1.896. and if we divide 912 by 482 use the calculator and check what answer you get and you will find it is 1.892 both the numbers are very closer so the approximation is very very closer to the actual answer and so by this way you can calculate it within seconds so friends you can use this method to solve the simplification problems that are asked in sbi po exam ibps po exam ibps clerical exam as well as sscl cgl exam so now we will see the one more number and how to divide it here is the third example that 83546 divided by 20768 now friends here whenever the digits will be more than 3 simply cancel out the digits which are more than 3 here these two digits are more and these two digits are more so first cancel out this and take this three three digits that is 835 divided by 207 and solve this as we have solved in the previous cases and you will find that the answer comes very very closer to the answer of this division so here what we will do we have to round this so we will subtract 7 so this will be 200 now we will have to subtract the number which is in the same proportion so here to subtract the number this numerator we will round it off to 800 and the denominator rounded to 200 so two zeros will get cancelled to four the eight so here we will subtract 7 this 7 into 4 so which is equal to 835 minus 14 upon 200 and so 835 minus sorry this is 7 for the 28 so 835 minus 28 and that will be equal to 807 divided by 200 to divide by 200 is very easier just divide 807 by 2 and 
put a decimal point after two digits because here there are two zeros in the denominator. So if you divide this by 200, we get the answer 4.035. So this will be the answer if you divide 807 by 200. Now we will divide this by using the calculator. So 83,546 divided by 20,768. If we use a calculator, to find the answer, we get the answer as 4.022. So this is also very closer to this answer. And so approximately we can find the division of such bigger numbers also within few seconds using the just subtraction or addition of smaller numbers and we get the correct answer. Friends, here we will see one more example and your concept will be more clear. So here we will divide 67,825 by 3,829. Here in the denominator we see that there are four digits. It means one digit is more than three. So this digit we will cancel out. But here in the numerator we see that there are two digits more than three digits but here we have cancelled one digit so in the numerator also we will cancel out one digit only so here we will divide 6782 by 382 as we have solved in the previous examples so to round this number to 400 we will ha have to add 18 to this number so this number will become 400. So denominator will be 400. Round this number. So if you round this number, it will be rounded to 7000. And the answer of this, you will get two zeros will get cancelled. Four ones are four and four sevens are 28. So approximately you will get 17. So add 18 multiplied by 17 to the numerator. This is 18 and the 17 we will get to the numerator so this will be 6782 plus 18 into 17 that is equal to 306 and denominator will be 400 so here after adding the numerator we get it as 7088 upon 400 so just divide this number by 4 4 and put a decimal point after two digits and dividing by 4 to this number is very easier so if you solve this you get it at 17.72 now we will divide this using the calculator so 67825 divided by 3829 if you use the calculator and check this so you get that answer as 17.713 and so you see that these two answers are very very closer so such big divisions also you can solve by using this mind blowing trick of the day and you can solve it within seconds only now friends i hope you have enjoyed this video I here give you two three examples that you try yourself using this method and give your answers through comments. So first division is 6, 7, 8, 3, 4, 5, 6 divided by 4, 5, 3, 2, 4, 6. Then second one is 67,325 divided by 34,262 and third one is 54,326 divided by 4,673 divide using this mind blowing trick of the day and give your answers through comments. Friends, I hope you must have enjoyed this video. If yes, 
please like this video and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get all the updates right into your mailbox thank you very much friends i hope you must have enjoyed this video if yes please like the video share it with your friends and please do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much